for a gamer, stepping up to a Vega card is like having terrible vision and putting on a pair of glasses for the very first time. Like you thought you were seeing before, but you weren't. The level of fidelity and performance you're gonna get out of a Vega card, it's like you're playing video games again for the first time. I just got my Vega. The first thing that I'm gonna to do tonight when I get home is I'm gonna play Prey with it. And I love Prey because I think the vision of putting Art Deco in space was just absolutely uh, groundbreaking. I'm really looking forward to playing Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus on Irex Vega. It looks gorgeous and it plays great. I'm really looking forward to Far Cry 5. You know, since the teaser, that game looks stunning. For quick shoot 'em up fun, I'm really looking forward to Quake Champions. And to be terrified, I'm looking forward to Evil Within. RX Vega is going to play all of those titles really, really well, and I'm going to have great fun. To tell you the story of Vega, I have to go back 20 years of PC gaming. You know, the first Wolfenstein. A quake, all of those stuff started back then. At that point of time, most PCs were running sub VGA resolution, like 320 by 240 pixels. Like just to get a perspective on how many pixels that is, that's less than like a small inch on your phone right now. Now, as we were driving your games that you were playing to look much more beautiful, much more lifelike, in the process, we evolved this thing called a GPU, and this GPU became a supercomputer. We didn't plan for it. It just became that. And now this supercomputer is being used for many other interesting tasks outside gaming. Now, as a gamer, you should look at this technology with pride because what you have done over the last 20 years resulted in this technology. We are the supercomputer of the future. With the introduction of RX Vega, we bring to market a new technology which was previously the preserve of very, very high-end workstations costing many thousands of dollars. HPM2, or High Bandwidth Memory 2, gives us 8 gigabytes of RAM at unprecedented speeds. It will improve the experience by allowing you to run uh, better visuals at higher resolutions with more effects, more bangs, crashes, whizzes, smoke, fire, supporting things like high dynamic range. In Vega, both your average frame rates, your maximum frame rates, and your minimum frame rates, all of them are going to be substantially better than previous generation because we have so much horsepower in Vega. You know, there are over 200 features in, in Vega, but if I have to pick one that in the long run is going to have the most impact is the high bandwidth cache. High bandwidth cache controller is a unique feature of the Vega architecture. Memory can be paged in and out without stalling the pipeline and without interrupting the flow of the compute shader. Imagine you're in a game, right, you know, turned around the wall, and then there, there is a, you know, a bad guy or a monster and he's just about to you know, shoot you, and you have a frame drop there, and you're dead. So in Vega, a big reason why we created the high bandwidth cache technology is to completely avoid that, because you never have to stall for loading your resources, loading your textures. HBCC makes it easier to manipulate and work with large data sets, large models. So obviously at Bethesda, we're known for making games with big worlds, and with those big worlds comes the need for more technology. It's not just about making a massive world where you can go anywhere and do anything, but it's about being able to see that whole world at a really incredible resolution to really feel like this is a place that you're in. On Far Cry 5, we spent almost a year just building the world, just building the space and making it feel credible. So that means from every blade of grass all the way up to the clouds in the sky, to the way the water works, to how people respond, to the way that the wind comes across the mountains, to the music that you hear, it has to feel like a real place. RX Vega supports a new feature called Rapid Packed Math. It is the ability to execute two shader instructions for the price of one. This means better performance, and obviously better performance is all good news for developers and gamers. So when we have low level access to the hardware, we're able to spend a lot of our time optimizing for that specifically. That means we can take full advantage and design our engine around the graphics architecture. We've been working closely with a company in Finland called Futuremark. Futuremark has been developing a demo that aims to showcase what kind of results that a developer could achieve by leveraging rapid packed math. This demo shows a performance benefit of at least 15%. If you're 
if you've got a modern graphics card, it's pumping out so many frames per second. And if your monitor can't keep up with it, you're gonna end up with screen tearing. And it just, it's horrible and it takes away from your game. What FreeSync does is stop that tearing from happening. FreeSync is a technology that allows us to adapt the refresh rate of the monitor to the rate the game can actually render frames at. You get no tearing and you get low latency without motion judder. FreeSync 2 monitors will really be the highest quality version of FreeSync. I fought really hard for the term free because we believe in open standards and we wanted uh, as many people as possible to have access to what we thought was really great technology. If you were in a tournament, every frame counts, and if some of those frames are tearing, you're not sure if you've moved far enough, whether you're spot on, whether you can take the shot. Every single delay is gonna set you back, and then if they take the shot before you do, maybe you've lost the game and you're out of it. With 240 hertz and free sync on, it felt like I was in the game again. It felt like I was completely connected, and it meant I could play my game without worrying about the hardware. For a game like Quake Champions, you know, a free sync monitor and the refresh rate is all about having the right equipment to play the sport. You don't go play baseball without a bat. You shouldn't play football without a helmet. You shouldn't be playing Quake Champions without free sync. Like, you need a monitor that is going to allow you to embrace what Quake Champions is, which is a true competitive, entirely skill-based game. FreeSync 2.0 is our latest and greatest FreeSync monitor technology. One of our partners, Samsung, is launching a brand new monitor very soon, and it's got HDR, and as well as a brand new range of settings that allow gamers to become more immersed. So HDR provides brilliant imagery, and more importantly, a rich environment that a gamer can have a fantastic immersive experience. Right from the start, Vega delivers amazing performance and amazing game experience. The thing with Radeon software is that although it brings out the best from the hardware, it will actually take the hardware to the next level. We are delivering a set of tools that is also going to be enabling game developers to customize the gameplay for that hardware, for more responsive, sharper, more intense gaming. And this is the value of Vega. It's a platform that is great now, but it's going to be even greater in the future. One thing that's great about working with AMD and this new partnership we have is, is sort of recommitting ourselves to, to bringing the best out of Vega cards and, and unlocking all the things that they can do for our games on an ongoing basis. Well, I really love working with AMD. Um, yeah, they're a really, really open company to work with. We love working with graphics hardware, right? And optimizing and squeezing out every little possible bit of power, designing our algorithms around it, and hopefully the, the gamers really benefit from that and they get great experience in playing our games. We announced uh, the new Wolfenstein game, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus this year at E3, and we're super excited about bringing this sort of non-stop, crazy, over-the-top action thrill ride and bringing it out using the Vulcan technology so that it's not only gonna play amazing, but it's gonna look amazing. We're super excited to announce that Far Cry 5 is collaborating with AMD. You know, on Far Cry, we really wanna try and be pushing what we can be doing graphically. We know that this brand started on PC. We know that it's really important to the people who know Far Cry all the way back from the very beginning. And so we think about what we want to be able to do in the future, what we want to be able to build. We need a collaborative partner that's going to be able to say, okay, how far do you guys want to go? How do you want to push it? And AMD gives us that. We wanted to get out there on the road and give gamers a chance to test drive it, to sit in front of it, to have it um, up on a beautiful FreeSync monitor and being able to go and just drink up that gaming experience. Once they had a chance to, to experience the buttery smooth frame rates, the incredibly high resolutions, the high dynamic range, just seeing that sense of wonder and excitement on the face of the gamer, that just made us feel so excited and that all the effort that we went to bring Vega to market was worth it in every respect. You take a top line product and the price to performance value there is just amazing. Yeah, I can't wait for Vega. As soon as like you guys release one, I want one in my hand. Yeah. There was meetings and meetings that we had with Raja where, you know, we'd go on and on about the shroud and I would stop him and say, okay, can we move on to engineering? And Raja would be like, this is engineering. And I didn't understand it until I actually saw the final shroud. It blew my mind away. I'm like, wow, this is actually beautiful. 
You should choose Radeon RX Vega if you care about those higher resolutions, if you care about having the very best GPU for new standards like Vulkan or DirectX 12. You should choose and, and care about Vega if you want to make sure that your games are being played the way they were meant to be. Turn up all your quality settings and run your games in their fullest glory with the best visual quality that the game developer intended you to enjoy. You get a glass with FreeSync because that's the buttery smooth glass and the best GPU to drive that is Vega. That's it, that's the simple answer.